Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this week's topic is a little bit special. Now about a week ago, one of the viewer Mastag okay asked me if I could talk about the Russian Sputnik V vaccine. I think that's how it says Sputnik V vaccine. So today, let's look at the Sputnik V and let's look at how it compared to other vaccines using similar technology and its latest development. Now, by the way, if you're new to the channel, I'm Dr. Han. I like to produce science review video, update on the latest global health topic, and also like to share tips for students learning success. Now, if these are your interested topic, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already a subscriber and very familiar with my lines here, thank you so very much coming back again this week for another week of informative COVID-19 update. So without further ado, let's go into the slides. So like I said at the beginning, today we are going to talk about the Sputnik V vaccine and what the world needs to know about this vaccine. Again, a disclaimer, this video is my summary and interpretations of publicly available information. This video does not serve as any advice on treatment, diagnosis, and preventions of any diseases. And if I mention any commercial company or organizations in this video, I do not have affiliations with them. First, let's look at the background of this Sputnik V vaccine. It was developed by the Russian Gamaleya Institute. A few months ago, they released an interim report saying there is an efficacy of 91.4%. So far, more than half of their goal 40,000 participants have already received the vaccines. And they said no unexpected adverse events are being reported. Now, these values and report were claimed by the developer on their press release. Okay, so that is something to keep in the note. Now, today we are going to look at what the technology is used. Okay, what are the differences? Okay, comparing Sputnik V to other similar vaccines. What are the advantage of Sputnik V? And also, what are the concerns? And what is the latest news? Now, first look at the first, what technology is used in this vaccine. Now, they use a very similar adenoviral vector technology compared to other vaccines such as from the AstraZeneca. Now, although they use different adenoviral, they use the AD26 and AD5 adenoviral vector. Now, these adenoviral vector are non-replicating virus to deliver the spike protein gene as shown in the figure there. Now, to learn more about this technology, there is a previous video I put a link up there and down there you can check it out. Overall, this vaccine will activate both the innate and adaptive immune system and let us fight this virus. Now, so what are the differences when you're comparing Sputnik V to other vaccines? Here is a table comparing AstraZeneca vaccine, Johnson Johnson vaccine, and the Sputnik V vaccines. Notice they all use a little bit different technology, even though the concepts are very similar. AstraZeneca used the chimpanzee adenovirus, Johnson Johnson used the AD26. Now, Sputnik V is a little bit special. They use both AD26 and AD five okay now the differences here is that the second dose of Sputnik V they are using the AD5 so the first dose is AD26 and then the second dose is AD5 now a lot of the informations regarding Johnson Johnson vaccine are still under investigations now so far in terms of the efficacy the reported efficacy of the Sputnik V is higher than the AstraZeneca, okay, 91.4% versus about 70%, okay. Now, so far in terms of availability, now AstraZeneca was first available in UK, and after uh, these couple of weeks, it's been available in India, Argentina, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Mexico, and Morocco. Now, in terms of Sputnik V, it was available in Russia uh, starting in August of last year and then other European countries are also getting the vaccines now. Now the Johnson Johnson is still in the phase three and there's not anything available to the public yet. So but we will keep an eye on the Johnson Johnson vaccine as well. 
So what are the advantage of Sputnik V? Okay, now Sputnik V, in terms of pricing and development cost, is a lot lower than uh, vaccines such as those mRNA vaccines. Okay, it costs ten dollars or less per dose and no cost in the country Russia. It is also very easy to store and transport and only need refrigerations. You know, keep in between two to eight degrees Celsius. And they also use two different adenoviral vector, okay, to deliver the gene, so it will reduce the chances for prior immunity against these adenoviral vector. So number four, what are the concerns of Sputnik V vaccines? The concerns right now really is because of the lack of published phase three data. So far, all the efficacy claim and safety profile were only coming from the company's press release. There is no published data yet. Okay, now so far they've published only the phase one and two data in Lancet. Okay, here is the issue and volume, and I'll also put. The link of that article in the description box below, if you would like to check that out. And other concerns that really goes to the Adeno Five vector. Okay, now there have been some concerns and a letter written、uh, as a group and published in Lancet as well regarding some previous study using Adeno Five、uh, vector in a vaccine have some. Increased risk of getting HIV in a very specialized population. So those were previous concerns. So far, we have no data supporting that claim when it's used in the current vaccines. Okay, so. Fact number five: What is the latest news that is available surrounding this Sputnik V? All right. So in Ukraine, okay, there is an ongoing trial, basically combining the AstraZeneca vaccine and the Sputnik V. So there is a cooperation between the UK vaccines and the Russian vaccines. Actually, the AstraZeneca is borrowing the AD26 and use that as the vector to deliver their genetic material to. See if that would work better comparing to their original chimpanzee adenoviral vector. So that is something very exciting, and I hope there will be more data coming along in the next couple months to see if that will work better. So what is the take-home message for this week? Now, Sputnik V, okay, uses the AD26 vector for its first dose and the AD5 vector for its second dose. And its efficacy is pretty promising based on their claim, but will need verifications in published data. Now, Sputnik V, okay, is also very low cost and easy to store and transport compared to mRNA vaccines. Sputnik V is now being studied in combinations with AstraZeneca's COVID vaccine, so we will hope to see more info in the coming months. To learn more, here are some of the links. That I use to gather today's informations. Now, most of them are press releases from different companies, okay, and some are from some UK officials, and you can check those out. So I hope this video is able to provide some answers regarding the Sputnik V vaccine. Now that is all for this week's COVID-19 update, and next week I will talk about the Chinese vaccines. So stay tuned again next Sunday at 7 p.m. and we'll talk about it. That's all for this week, and I hope you will stay safe and healthy. Bye.